Good morning. I'm Kristen. It's Lazy C. Homestead. And I've been trying to shoot this video for a couple weeks now. And then I got hurt a couple weeks ago. So I've not filmed <laughs> in about, I don't know, a well over a week. So today, it's a simple video. I am taking care of animals and why it's not here. But we're going to go take a look at cows. And, uh, you know, I love cows. So, yesterday we were trying to leave. We adopted a cat, a kitten, because um, we only have one cat. And he is absolutely useless at killing mice. So, we adopted a little Cali cat, and she's a little calico. But, uh, got out and to this. Coming outside to a. Uh, few escapees like uh, every, every cow we own loose yeah it's great at least their feed bucket broke come on boogers it's a good thing that they are used to a bucket because we'd be in trouble but I gotta water all of these guys real fast and uh, we'll get back to you with this heat, I am I'm really struggling to try and film. Um, I said, you know, I'm, and I've been hurt, so I've not really wanted to film much. I just want to get things done and get back in the house and kind of take it easy. I'm I'm really bad about not uh, not letting myself heal before I start doing a bunch of stuff, and that's to my detriment now that I'm 32 years old and. It's just, it's not gonna work anymore. But we're gonna walk back here. And we're gonna check one of the girls, the little girls. She's been pretty soft in the back end for a few days. Well, more than a few days, for a few weeks. But we could have calf number four really soon. Are you gonna come check cows with me? Kitty, 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 kitty. You gonna come check cows? I have, most people have cow dogs with them. I have a cow cat. I'm going to show you this tree right here, guys, is a, it's a wild black cherry tree, and it's this tree right here that's kind of leaning over. It's loaded. I also found a Mexican plum in the goat pasture, so I'm going to have to fight goats for plums this year, I am certain, as well as we have a huge population of native persimmons, and that's pretty exciting too. There's my little escapees. Actually, that Matt let, let the gate open, so they they escaped just by default. The gate was open, and their cows. This little one right here, that one. She's springing. She's got a little softball size udder under there. So we we could have another calf really soon. Oh, by the way, that that thing is splashy. She is gray. I mean, I love it. I knew she would turn gray. Her mama's gray. But I think she's... I wish... I just still, secretly, I wish I had a little red cow. Come here, Bubba. What are you doing? Yeah, she's springing. So just any time now. There's the two that we drove to Graham, Oklahoma to get. Edith and Graham. He is... He's a hoss, too. And he will be for sale. Because we want to keep his mama. Oh, See your little udder under there. Got three. Now, a couple questions I've been getting recently about the zebus is people want to know what do I do with them and what can you do with them? So, what we do with them, our intentions are to raise them for sale and for beef. Um, in my opinion, that 600 pound steer is a lot more manageable for us being that we butcher our own stuff and it's not it's easier to put up about i don't know 250 300 pounds of meat versus or hanging weight <laughs> i should say it's easier to put up a smaller one that's about one family size and that would last us a year versus if we butchered a standard black-hided 
you know, Angus Brangus type steer. That would be an 1,100 pound steer. That would be about five or 600 pounds of meat. That's, that's a lot to put up. So we, our intentions are to raise for profit for one and for home meat for two. Now things that you can do with them is there are people who milk them. I personally am not going to. Um, it's in my research that I've done so I could let you guys know they are typically A2 A2 so if you do buy some that are in a heavier milky line you have the opportunity to get some really good milk out of them that's going to benefit you greatly that's what's big about the jerseys is a lot of them are A2 A2 whereas Holsteins and things they're A1 A2 or A1 A1 and I guess if for instance is Brahms only sells A2 A2 milk now and they use A1 A2 milk for their ice cream but the A2 A2 is easier to digest so if, so, if a person did get one that was out of heavier milking lines they could very easily milk their zebus. I just I have four milk goats <laughs> I don't really think I need to milk them but I'm gonna go in the house and take care of Haston. Oh, that was a long walk and it's hot so I know it's not a very long video but it's a little video you guys have a good day we'll see you soon God bless